All right, they want us to solve this equation, this system rather, this system of equations. There's two equations. They want us to solve this system using the substitution method. And by the way, the substitution of all the methods you can use to solve this, the substitution method would be the best anyway because we have one equation that's already solved for one of the variables. Actually, both of them are already solved for something. But substitution means I'm going to take these two equations and combine them together by substituting one equation into the other equation. So everywhere I see an x in this first equation here, everywhere I see an x, I'm going to write the number 2. So let's do that. y equals negative 2. Now instead of writing x, I'm going to write 2, because that's what x is. I plug that in. Plus 3. Now I don't have two variables. I have one variable and that variable is y, and y equals negative 4 plus 3, which means y equals negative 1. What was x? What did x equal? x equal positive 2. So y equals negative 1, x equals positive 2. My intersection point is 2 comma negative 1. If I were to graph that, let's see what, what, what would happen if I were to graph that. Let's change the background to squares. If I were to graph this equation, notice what I, I would have a... Let me make an x-y axis. The other way you could have solved this is by um, graphing. You could have solved by graphing. It's not the best way to do it, but you could have done that. And if I were to graph this top equation, I'll use the red for the top equation. That top equation is going to start at 3 because that's your y-intercept, and it's going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. So that line right there is going to look like this, roughly. Okay? And then this this line, let me, let me change this, this entire thing to green. should have done that in the first place, so that I'm color-coding things. x equals 2, and I'll make that the gr a green line. And with x equals 2, what does that mean? Every value, every single value for the x is 2, which means it's a vertical line going through 2 on the x-axis. So x always equals 2. Well, where do those two lines intersect? They intersect right here at the point 2, negative 1, which is exactly what I found when I used the substitution method.